So this is a big boy comes in. I'm telling you, you got a guy that's a, he's a little bit depressed. Um, let's say he's a little bit depressed. He's got carb, car, you know, night eating syndrome, carb cravings. And he's that type of guy where he can't just have one piece of cake. He's got to have the whole cake. And then he gets in the car and he drives the Woolies and he buys another one, right? You put somebody like that on it because the longer you can keep them off the carbs, the, the better chance you're gonna get, get for that carb craving to go down, but we have to replace something. There's a reason he's looking for carbs, okay? He's trying to get something into the brain that insulin facilitates passage through the blood-brain barrier. What is that? It's what makes it. Go one step in between those two. 5-HTP, so this guy, we could put him on a ketogenic diet, supplement him with 5-HTP, but you need a cofactor, what is that? P5P, B6, the reduced form pyridoxal 5-phosphate, reduced form of B6, okay? Why would we give the reduced form over just pyridoxine? Methylation issues. Methylation issues, also keep in mind if this guy if he's stressed out and he's big, his liver's doing a lot of stuff. It probably doesn't care about reducing that B vitamin. So if we're gonna give something we wanna work, we wanna give a direct precursor or something that we know is gonna work immediately.